What is up guys, it is I, Jane Poop again, back with more Super Smash Brothers Brawl, and in the last video, we have finished off all of the, the rest of the level 5 target smash, and we have uh, gotten all the characters done with Home Run Contest, and we have eaten Classic Mode on Normal Mode. In this video, we're going to do it on Intense Mode, now you might be thinking, oh, you're going to struggle a lot. Well, I found a cheat code, which, which allows me to defeat an enemy instantly. And not just that, it can also let me fight Master Hand and Crazy Hand at the end as well. So, we're going to try it with Captain Falcon. So we have Link here, and then look at this. You see we're Metal, and BOOM! You can see we're so powerful. Giant Yoshi, uh, I'm not afraid of you. Because oh! <laughs> this means we will overkill Master Han and Crazy Han as well. So yeah, this is a really fun thing to have. <laughs> I killed Lucario as well, even though he's my ally. But Team Morph. Haha. <laughs> So yeah, they'll always have 999 HP, and I think you, you don't take damage at all. So we are good there. And we're so light as well, apparently. That is so cool. We're also metal for some reason. Target smash again. Apparently it also affects the targets, but I'm not going to do target smash. Uh, you can see it's level 5. Kirby, I'm not afraid of Kirby either. Because. Oh! <laughs> We're so powerful! We will literally overkill Master Han and Crazy Hand. Literally. Oh boy! You dead, Olimar, along with the Pikmin. Oh boy, Captain Falcon! Oh boy. Oh, I couldn't see myself. And and I think this works for any character, so... It's a good thing I found this code, and where was I? Oh boy. Whoa! Well, I can still get killed. But at least... Doesn't really matter. Oh my god. Captain Falcon in the metal, it kind of reminds me of Judge Dredd a bit. <laughs> you know, superhero. Whoa! <laughs> that is so funny. It's the Game & Watch. Oh, yes! <laughs> that looks so funny. Sonic the Hedgehog? I... Uh, uh. Because I'm a god. Come on. Oh boy. Come move there for a moment. Well, okay. Create the targets again, it will be level 5 again. And now for the final ones Lucas, Mennonite, and Samus. And. Well, no problem here. Oh, I'm dead again. Whoa, I'm dead again. Boom! Just enough for Master Hand and Crazy Hand. So now, we should see both hands' health bars, let's see. Yep, there we go. Here's Master Hand and Crazy Hand. But you're dead and you're dead. <laughs> we are a god. <laughs> Did you see how fast we were? Sure, we didn't get to see much of that, but Still, at least we saw the animation. That's what's important for me. 
So, yeah. I think I'm going to try other things with, uh... I'm going to try the other things with, uh... The Ultimate God Mode, or whatever it's called. I think it was... Uh, I forgot what the code was, but... Yeah, and yes, this is by using cheats, so... Uh, with USB Loader GX, I can, uh, have a cheat file... Uh, in a text document, and, uh load the cheat, so that's how I'm able to get them working. Though if you're on disk, then you can also use uh, Gecko, or whatever it's called. I think it's, I know it's Gecko something, but you can use that to then uh, pretty much get the, pretty much uh, get them, so. I'm going to shoot these, obviously I'm not going to shoot them all, but I want to get, I want to get the money, because yay, it must be the money! Fingers hurt! Okay. We got 35! Oh boy. We are an ultimate god! Wow! Incredible! Yep, you get the wow! Incredible as well! And we get this as well, we got a uh, clear... Classic on intense difficulty. We get the master... No, not master hand. Crazy hand trophy. So, yeah. That is what you get. And normally, I would not never do intense difficulty, but... Still. Wow. Come to think of it. So now, with that code, I can even pretty much do all the events on hard mode. Because hard is obviously the maximum amount. For that mode. Uh, so, we can also do all star mode. Uh, let's do all star mode on intense as well. Also with Captain Falcon. Let's see how we do it. Oh my god! <laughs> We're so powerful. And apparently that comes up as well. It doesn't really matter though. It's still Falcon Punch. Boom! Die Bowser! We're in Delphino Plaza. Oh, seriously, did you have to? Okay. Alright, Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. Oh boy! Incredible! Okay, so what I'll do, trophy, can I get that? We don't really need the hearts anymore as well. I wonder if there's a challenge for that. Oh boy! <laughs> we're so powerful, we're a god! I love this code so much now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> such a beast. This is the reason why I want this code, just so I can do the hard stuff. Because I'm not able to do it, and especially if children struggle doing this one day, they can also free to use these codes. So yeah, it's really cool. Hello, Toon Zelda. No, no, I want Toon Zelda. There we go. Right, time for Samus. Whoa, what? Continue. No continues. We don't want continues uh, in order to get one of the challenges. So, uh, how about we change uh, from Captain Falcon to, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, Snake. How about Snake? Okay. Wait, what? I died? Continue. How did I die? What? Right, let's try that again. Because I tripped at first, so... That's why I thought of doing that. There we go. Just roll into them. Alright, there we go. And get the plumbers. Oh, Bowser and Peach first. Oh. 
Oh, it, it, if, it's if I actually have to hit them, then it works. Okay. Still use the launcher. Okay, Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. Oh, seriously, in this stage. We've got Diddy Kong easily. Okay. Come on. Oh god. Oh, nice! <laughs> he died! Just like that. We even have the reflect badge as well. That's kind of cool. Alright, ice climbers. You're no stranger to anyone. Oh, whoa. And I just got Nana. Oh, wow, I deflected that back. <laughs> that is so cool. Ready? <sighs> this move is so cool. <laughs> we are powerful. Okay, goodbye, Gunning North. Boom! Goodbye, Link. And I kicked that away as well. That is so cool. We got Blaze trophy. Right, Samus. Oh my god, I thought the lava would be rising up, but... Oh my god. Right, Snake will not use Snake, we'll use... Um... How about Pit, because he's got like the strong... Ah, yeah, 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 move! Ready, go. I'll try that. Yep, yeah, we're powerful with that as well. Let's just use Ready, Pit. Go. Okay. Let's Ready. see. Oh, in Luigi's Mansion. Oh, goodbye, Luigi. <laughs> we can just do that. We can literally just do that move and then that's it. Oh, boy, I just burped. Boom! Nice. I think Pit might be easier for this, then. And we got... One of the F-Zero characters. Ready, go. And... Oh, boy! We were quick on Ice Clap. <gasps> Ready, right, Rob go. the Robot. You are unfortunately going to die. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. This is amazing. Oop. Right, and it's going to stay there for Toon Link and Ganondorf. <laughs> and we've got a Glarados, I think is I think that Pokemon is. Oh, Zero Suit Samus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, Pit. We can break these easily as well. Nice. We can easily do the spring cleaning event. Alright, Snake. You're also easy! <laughs> Alright. Ness and Lucas. Oh no. Nice! That worked! Okay. Ready, go. Oh my god. Alright, Martha and Ike. Go. 
Oh boy. We are. Ready, go. Oh god. Right, Yoshi. I know you're cute. Ready, but, sorry. <laughs> I don't take any business here. Ready, go. All right, Captain Bunkun. You thought your Falcon Punches were powerful. I tell you, it is now powerful. Ready, okay, go. Sonic the Hedgehog. That's how are we doing, Sonic? And we fall through the floor. Nice. Ready, go. And now for the Kirby characters. Kirby, Mennonite, and King Dedede. Ready, go. Okay, we'll wait for Kirby. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Ah, oh, yeah. I feel lucky. Now for Star Fox. Alright. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, what happened there? You know what? I I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna continue. Why not? I know one of these challenges involves, uh... Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Apparently, when Fox grabs me, it glitches. Ready, go! Okay, there we go. There we go. I know I had a continues, but... Ready, go! Oh, unless the no continues is for easy mode. Ready, go! Oh, nice! Got an insta-kill on Wario. Alright, only... Only the Pokemon and then all of them and then that's it. No. It's glitching again. It's every time a character grabs me. So grabbing is the move we want to avoid. No! What Jigglypuff? No! Oh wow, nice! Alright, one more character and that is Olimar! And Olimar's gonna be easy. Ready, go! Nice! Pits the winner! We got Palatina. Okay, so yeah, at least we've done all star mode on intense. We might get a couple of challenges finished, I don't know. Or at least just the intense one, but okay. But aside from dying easily with uh with reflections and all that. It's actually a really good uh, cheat. It could be useful in the subspace emissary and all, by all means. We can easily defeat the bosses, we can easily defeat, easily do all missions on uh, intents uh, and all that. So, yeah. So yeah, I guess it's just boss battles mode that we can do on intense and then... Wow! Incredible! Yep, we're gonna get... Yep, we got that. We got Mewtwo. It's what we get. After all of that. Okay. So yeah, we 
cleared all star on intense. So now, now for the greatest challenge. In fact, I want to try home run contest first. Uh, with just a character. How about uh, Captain Falcon again? Can we overkill the sandbag? Whoa, we can! Oh my god! Da, 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 da. The music's still going. Oh my god. How long would this take, though? Hmm. <sighs> going to the thousands? Oh my god. Is this going to take a while? Well. <laughs> okay. That is... We are apparently a god, so we're in the two thousands. Oh my god! Cause we're going way in the future. Oh my god! Seriously, get it for that long? Oh my god, wow, this is endless. When will the sandbag stop? Oh my god. Like, I'd imagine if there was a challenge for this. Like, for this LP, I I'm not going to get every challenge done, obviously, because some involve, like, beating certain, like, events again, but just on harder difficulties, and uh, uh, some just involve using the intense difficulty, which I could do with this, uh, with this hack that I put in, that code, but, um, uh, that, but I don't, uh, but aside from, like, probably, probably showing a bit more of the stage builder, and, um, and um, possibly overkilling uh, Taboo in both boss battles and the Subspace Emissary. Um, I think that pr that will pretty much be about it. So uh. we're just gonna wait for this. It's gonna take forever. God, how long did they make this? Oh, there we go. Now it's here. Jesus! If I'd have made the sandbag further, then. Wow! Okay. <laughs> That's a high score. Oh my god. Uh, right. Uh, if I have enough time at the end, I could try and do this with another character. Probably Snake. Um, but right now, I'm gonna. Oh! Uh, also, a uh, multi man brawl. Uh, can I get any of the Krull brawl stuff? Because they're normally difficult. So, how about this? Because Cruel Ball is normally difficult. But with this mod, Ready, go. now we can overkill them. You can see we can kill them now. We might still get killed eventually, but I mean... We're getting a lot of kills now, thanks to this. See that? Holy crap! We've even got DK. I'd say we do this until we die. <laughs> Yet we can do cruel, cruel brawl without, uh, without too much hassle now. Cruel Brawl is now easy. Oh, hello, Olimar. Oh, I died. Oh, I got 50! Wow! We got two challenges for that. We've got the Red Alloy Trophy, and then we've got Liquid Snake from Twin Snakes. Okay. Wow, so just 10 and 5, that's about fine. Thank God no more than that. Otherwise, that would have been an overkill. Oh, God. Um, okay. 
So at least we can do Cruel Brawl easily now. I think I've also enabled a code where we do 100 Man Brawl with just one kill. I think I've enabled that. Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> okay. Uh, I thought I did, but... But, uh, apparently we could have got some of those challenges done easily as well. Um, alright, boss battles! Let's do that! With Captain Falcon on Intense. Because Captain Falcon needs to do it, we can easily kill the bosses! Oh, well. Because I want to speedrun this as well, so... So it's best if I have a character that we move. <laughs> yep, zero on the clock. <laughs> Let's try and make it zero on the clock. Oh boy, we have Meta Ridley. Now for do on. Oh, nice going. <laughs> now I don't know if this code will work in Subspace Emissary. If it doesn't, then we'll have to fight Taboo normally. But oh. We're an overkill. Okay. And our Galleon. Which which version is it? It's the first version. We, we jump very high as well, it seems. Ridley. Ooh, we kicked him off the stage. <laughs> Uh, crazy hand that is. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Ah! <laughs> so funny. Wow. And now for Petey Piranha or Petty Piranha. And we just tap the button and then punch the belly button. <laughs> We're so powerful. I wonder what happens if we defeat Petey Piranha this way in Subspace Emissary the first time. I don't know. Alright, Ray Quasar. Oh boy, we've still got zero on the clock. Uh, that is so funny. Okay, um, Master Hand. Oh, I knee on you. And now for Taboo, who we can just instantly kill. Zero on the clock on all of them! Boom! Yeah, zero, 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 zero on the clock, and yeah, you get Taboo on the congratulations screen. And we get this, uh, tro this trophy, the Gallium Tank Form Trophy. Yeah. Yeah, so we've done that really quick. So we can pretty much easily get the challenges without even um, uh, unlocking them in the first place. So, so that's kind of cool. Um, now, is there anything else um, that we could do? Um, so for the challenges, um, now this one we're never going to do, so we can just open that up now. So we got our hammer again. Uh, what's this next one? 500 total combined KOs in brawls. Uh, so, uh, level three under 20 seconds. I never knew there was that one. I guess it doesn't matter now. Endure a 15 minute brawl. Okay. Uh, what else? Very odd. It's weird how you have to still do it on the other difficulties to unlock these. Um. Okay. We've got the timer trophy. Okay. Um. We could try a coin battle. Um. 
see how that works in um We've not done a coin battle yet. Okay. Okay, um I have to switch now. Grab the coins! Yeah, we're gonna do grab the coins, why not? Because I think I've also enabled a code where... Oh, I can't do custom stage. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, I can do custom stages. I'm going to do the glitch zone. How about that? Three, two, one, go! Okay, how am I going to get his coins? I don't think I can do it at all. So, uh, not with this code at least, so... But it's basically getting more coins as possible, so I just—I I guess I'll just unlock random things in the end. So yeah. So I just uh, use a hammer on that uh, one. It also reveals what this one we can use. Collect all songs. Okay. Okay. Now. Um. Uh, stage builder, obviously. Because obviously, I want to show off uh, how how we can make I can make the best stage uh, to to grab music to grab the CDs. Uh, so, but we don't have those parts yet. So, and so you know what? I'm just gonna uh, uh, open this one because I'm not making 15 stages at all. 100 man with all characters, so. Uh, I don't. I forgot where the other one was. Uh, but. So I don't know if I have the necessary parts to make it, so. I'm gonna see. So I'm gonna make a new one. I'll set it to large. And then I'll. Uh, Uh, online practice stage, how about that? Uh, do I have the necessary parts? No, I don't. It's on the other set, so... Uh, I guess I'll look for that, and then... Okay, guys, I found where the other one is, so... It's right here, edit parts B. We've also got these, uh... Right, so this hammer I will use for something that I definitely can't do, so... Uh, but we'll look at that later, so... So we got all stage builder parts. So now... I'm gonna show off how you can make a CD factory. So, I'm gonna click new. I'm gonna set that. I'm gonna have a... Uh, it doesn't matter what music I have, I prefer this one. Uh, I recommend a large one. And uh, the things you'll want are these conveyor belts. So there's two of these. Uh, so. Alright, so. Right, so we want these going the other way. So. So we want this. So we want to make sure that we are on like this. So on these conveyor belts. Uh, so I guess we can just zoom in to check if they're good as well. Uh, so then I'm gonna then I'm going to add these platforms on. Gonna add these platforms on, why not? I'll just make a really interesting design. Okay, put away, put away, put away. And then, then, uh, uh, I don't think anything else is necessary. I think. Mostly these 
Uh, I, I, so I'm going to put more of these on. Use the C stick to change directions. Well, on the GameCube. Uh, since I'm using a GameCube controller. Uh, right, uh, I'll remove... I'll, I'll just redesign this. Okay, so... Um... I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna have this. Why not? I'll have this. There we go. Uh... So... Um... We'll get rid of some of those. Uh, get rid of those ones, so then... We can make this cool sort of like a fighting stage as well, so... I guess I'll add more of these below here. And I can't add more, so... I'll just do it like this, so then... Uh, so I'm making it interesting. Uh, because what you want it to mostly have is, uh, in fact, I'll add some floors here as well, around here, is that we mainly want it so that when we, on like a test stage, or something like that, uh, uh, we place sandbags in them, and sometimes when you hit a sandbag, they'll sometimes drop a CD, so... So, uh, so it's literally best to make these in order to um, in order to make the, the, these kind of stages. So, uh, so that is why you would want to do these in the first place. Uh, for this, I'm gonna oh, I'll add this. Why not? I'll add one here. I'll just make this uh, interesting as well. So, why not? In fact, no, I'll, uh, I'll not have those. I'll have those rotating platforms. How about that? So I want to make this stage a bit interesting as well. Uh, I'll add a bit. Of, uh, I'll add spikes in a moment. Um, so just like that, and then I'm also going to add spikes. Uh, just a spike there. How about that? Uh, same with there. Do, 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 in this. Can't really turn them. Okay. You can add ladders for no reason as well. Um, don't know why you would need ladders, but. How about ladders to the spikes? How about that? Let's make it more interesting. Uh, okay. Um, these platforms as well. I don't know if we'll need these, so. I guess I'll make them just in case. No. Oh. Not enough room. Um, if that's the case, then I'll delete one. Uh, delete that one, and then. Um, make sure I had a floor. Okay. Um, a lot of things we can't add anymore, so... Uh, I'm surprised I can't add that spring as well. Uh. Okay, so... No, um... So I think this looks cool, and <laughs> we've still got that god mode here. In fact, we don't need all of these platforms. Um, I'd say, in fact, we'll remove all of those and just have those two falling platforms because they'll stay there as well, so. Um, and I'll just have them like that. Uh, so just like that. Why not? Ooh, ooh, ooh.
Eh, I'll just add springs for no reason. How about that? Okay, how about that? Uh, that looks good enough. Uh, okay. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Um, uh, so, then I'm just going to call this CD Factory. Because it's what you'll likely call it. So, CD Factory. Uh, where's the F? Um, fact. Uh, factory. CD Factory. Um, oh, how about something like, um, something funny, how about, go, go pirate your CDs. Go, go pirate your CDs. Your uh, where's the U? I don't know if I'll be spelling U correctly there, but I don't care. Parrot, how about parrot your songs? How about that? Um, songs. Can't add a full stop, it don't matter. Uh, yeah, that's good. And I'll save it to the Wii system, even though I've changed my SD card, so I can put them on, but it don't matter. Because this is not going to be my proper save file for Smash uh, Brawl. Uh, it's just my Let's Play one, so... But something like this would work, uh, so... So yeah, so yeah, something like that would work. So, uh, yeah, yes, you can put things in and move things to the. You can also check the SD card side as well, but the SD card has to be two gigs or less because higher than that won't work for some reason. Uh, which unfortunately, most SD cards nowadays are those types. So, yeah. So we got a CD factory. Now, we're going to go to training. training. And it doesn't matter what character we choose. I'm just going to choose Mr. Game and Watch. But you choose that custom stage and... Oh, I thought they were not going to load then, but okay. Um, so then, we need Mr. Sandbag. Uh, if I can find him. Where is the sandbag? There it is. So then... Although, obviously, with this code, it, um, it's not going to really work, but... Or, I don't know if it works in training mode, but... But you can get the idea. You basically hit these um, sandbags multiple times below these. And eventually you'll get, um, you'll get, um, uh, eventually you'll get a CD, so, in fact, while I'm here, I might try and get another, uh, I might try and get another, um, uh, uh, challenge done, uh, which is the maximum combos done. This platform reappears. I appreciate it. Okay. Oh, okay. So. So, yeah, I'm just gonna... Right. Right, I'm just gonna finish. Don't matter. But, yeah, you can kind of get what that means. So, yeah. Uh, now. Um... I don't know if there's anything else to show off. Um, 
Right, uh, I'll just do, we'll just do the last thing possible, which is overkilling uh, Taboo in the Subspace Emissary. You can see everything's completed, even the Great Maze. I'm going to do this on Intense. I'm going to pick our characters. So yeah, this is it. We're going to see, to truly end Smash Brothers Brawl, we're going to just do it. So we're just going to do it. Here we go. Okay. Got me. I'll grab that as well. Then, now, let's see how we get Tabu. Because we're gonna show him who's boss with this god mode. It's impossible to die here. So here we go. Let's see if we can do it. Yet yeah, we've done it! Boom! Yep. We're running serious as almost, yeah. Eat a hood. Or oh, this is horse's feet. We could play a safari. Holy crud! Eat a hood. Eat a French bread. You can eat with a spoon. <laughs> oh, father's videos. Holy crud! We Four people deported. Oh, there are people speaking. Whoa, there in there. A combo. Oh no! Who's back? Sheep. Okay, I are to. And that, my friends, is Super Smash Brothers Brawl on the Nintendo Wii. I thought this would be the end for the series. Uh, maybe a couple of bonus videos. Well, maybe not a couple. Maybe at least a couple of bonuses I can show off. One thing I might, I, I will definitely want to show off is the masterpieces. But unfortunately, I won't be able to show them in the resolution I'm playing this game in. Because of the way they load. Uh, so, I'm going to have to change resolutions of the game. So that it's a really crap quality. Uh, just so I can show these. So... Uh, yeah, because all masterpieces in the European version are 50 hertz. Uh, all in uh, NTSC versions are 60 hertz. Uh, I could show off the two Japan only ones as well, but I'll have to boot up my Japanese version um, to show those ones. So, yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah. Um, and other things like showing all the trophies, all in the stickers, and all that. They will be uh, separate videos with no commentary and all that. Uh, I'll even do like the whole Chronicle, which is the list of the games. Uh, list of games for no goddamn reason. It's the only Smash game to have it. Surprisingly.
all the companies. I'm not going to... In fact, no, I am going to save. 9.05. Yes. Well, let's see what the save file looks like. Um, will it show the... Um, the red symbols on there? Sure enough, it does on all of them. On all of the Great Maze. Oh, yes! Isn't that cool? So, let's quit playing. Surprised we don't get any challenges unlocked for it. Oh well, we're gonna just unlock a random challenge. So uh, let's do ones that uh, let's do one that we're never gonna do. So I don't know what to do. Um. Oh, so it's all. St oh, it's any difficulty. Okay. Um, all right. Um, coin matches. Because um, we could break any challenge, so I, I, I'm just wondering which one to break. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. But I mean. Okay. How about one that we cannot break in the American version? So let's do this one. Which we got Dark Cannon. Yep. So yeah. Now, obviously, the rest of the challenges will have to, would have to be done uh, manually, but I mean... But you get the point of challenges, pretty much. Uh, so, yeah. So... Yeah. Uh, all that's complete. So, I guess the rest of this video, I could um, show off all of the masterpieces, though I'll have to change the resolution uh, uh, no matter what game, so... Uh, because no matter what, it will not show, so, uh, you know, and it doesn't even go back to Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, uh Ultimate? I mean, Brawl, this is not Ultimate. Um, uh, I would have to, uh, go back, because obviously, um, because no matter which one I load, um, it doesn't seem to show up. Uh, but yeah, I will show these off. You can see, they'll say... This game works in 50 hertz mode, so yeah, that's how it works, unfortunately, so, uh, but I guess I will meet you guys back when we get to the masterpieces, so, here we go. Alright guys, I loaded the game again, this time I have loaded it on disc, so, you can probably hear my Wii in the background. Uh, reading the disc and things take longer to load slightly so and obviously the resolution is slightly crappier than before but still but at least we're able to because uh, I just tested this out and uh, I tested the N an NES game and then it worked so we're gonna go through all of these masterpieces and see what they're like. I might be able to go through the two Japan only ones as well if I boot up the Japanese version, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, mainly because these ones here are PAL. So, first up, we're going to load Donkey Kong. So, 
uh, if you see capture cards uh, standby screen that's normal it's just proceeding so with Donkey Kong it's just uh, 75 meters the stage and you only get to play this for 20 minutes you can also press the home button you can see we're on the home menu but we can press the operations guide and go to the uh, the manual so we have the manual here it's just the controls and you can also see there's a message down here you can download virtual console games from the Wii shop channel well you could but now you can't because obviously uh, Wii shop channels dead so yeah it's pretty much just a temporary demo of games uh, we can only play this for 20 seconds or 30 seconds rather so so I don't think we can finish this in time and then you get this message saying you'll be returned to Super Smash Bros. Brawl uh, there is a code where you can uh, disable the time limit but every time I enabled it it doesn't seem to work for some reason so I uh, don't know why that is, but now let's go on to the next game, which is Ice Climber. We can only play this for 40 seconds. So this is the original Ice Climber, obviously. Um, where uh, I think it's the first stage. Yeah, it's the very first stage in the game. Um, so, let's go up here. So we just go up here, if I can. Yeah, we just break some ice and then... Let's see if we can go up here. Nice to go up here. We're at the bonus. And the trial's ended. The music will be slightly slower as well, because obviously this is, these are European versions. So, or maybe American and Japanese versions as well. The world versions, but, but set at 50 hertz. Well, mainly the NES games for the world versions. Next up is Super Mario Brothers. I think we all know what this is. We can play this for one minute. And I bet it's one, it's, I bet it's World 1-1. One, one. I bet it is. Yep, it is. God, the music's so fast. The music's not right. <laughs> yep, the music's not right, but okay. The audio is not right at all. So, yeah. I bet we can't even make it to the end now. Especially when this set to one minute. Okay. You can even go here. I don't know if there's a. Oh, the Z button on the GameCube controller is the select button. Let's go two player game. Why not? And yeah, it's ended. Uh, I won't show the home menu for all games, but you get the idea. It's pretty much like Virtual Console. Uh, but the timer doesn't go on through the home menu for some reason. It only goes on through the actual game itself. All right. Next up, The Legend of Zelda. Uh, so I believe it's like the first part of the game in The Legend of Zelda. I think when you first got your sword, so... Yeah, the music's high pitched for some reason. I don't know why. So we've got our sword. I didn't look how long we can play this for. But we can pretty much um, uh, go through the first half of the game. Don't know why you would want to play this with a GameCube controller unless you want to uh, think you're on the collector's edition. 
Uh, we don't have enough to buy these, so... Uh, let's just go on ahead. Let's see if I can find the first dungeon. Uh, I believe we go... No, it's not up there. It's this way, isn't it? Once we take damage, our sword is no longer a laser. Or well, maybe these are American versions, but they're set to run PAL, and thus the music is faster when it's not normal. I don't know what was going on there, but... Okay, let's go this way. Ah, I got spat. Got some moblins. Uh, don't remember much of Zelda, but let's heal ourselves for this fairy. Okay, let's go down here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh wow, I killed one of these. Let's go in here. <laughs> and it ended when we get, went in there. Okay, it was probably two minutes or something. Was it, how long was it? I forgot. Um, let's look at it again. It was, had to be one minute something. Uh, it was, oh, it was two minutes, okay. Kid Icarus, one minute and 30, min uh, and 30 seconds. Uh, so, so for Kid Icarus, uh, I think it's just the first level in the Underworld. I think it's the Underworld. Uh, I don't remember which is Kid Icarus, Kid Icarus, but... Now the music seems like it's the same pitch, but it's still slow. Maybe it depends per game. Let's go in here. And there's nothing here at all. Nothing here at all. And the door's locked, so we can't go back. Do, 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 do. So we can go up here. Okay. Do, 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 do. And obviously it's stretched like this because that's how aspect ratio for European games were intended back then, so it's kind of matching that as well. Let's get the harp. Just turns everything into hammers. I think it's for later in the game. We've got more hammers. Oh my god. Wow. Let's see if I can reach these uh, these guys here. Du-du-du-du-du. Grab that. Let's go in there. Wow, we were difficult. And it ended when we went in there. Okay. So, yeah, that's what Kid Icarus was like in the trial. So, yeah. Uh, next up. Um, so, the next one is F0, which is just 40 seconds. So, our first Super Nintendo one. Uh, so, here we go. Uh, the original F-Zero, I'm assuming it's the first race. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's the B-Button, okay. Now, the music is, is now the same speed because Super Nintendo, they optimise it for the PAL region. It's still slow, but, I mean... And it ended. Okay. We didn't get to hear the rest of the music. Because Mute City is like one of the best themes in F Zero. So, yeah. Okay. Um. It's after F-Zero, I think is our first 
unlockable one. So we got Super Mario World. Even though you might think Super Mario Bros. 2 should go first, but no. Super Mario World. Because I think it's the Japanese release order they're going in. So, Super Mario World is next. And I think for Super Mario World... Um, Right, they're awkward to control. Very awkward to control on a GameCube controller, but... Because there's no normal jump button, it seems. Or it's the B button, okay. I guess I'll just have to... Be weird with my hands, but okay. But yeah, Super Mario World, it's just Yoshi Island 2. Uh, so... We get to play as Yoshi. I wonder if it's possible we could do some glitches. Because it's as if we haven't finished the stage yet as well. It's set as so. Do, 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 do. Eating all the apples. Do, 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 do. And we didn't get a great exit. Do, 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 do. I don't know if the audio is so quiet as well, or, or, or maybe not. All right, I'm going to see if I can try and do a glitch. If not, then I don't know. All right. So the glitch involves... Uh, I'm pretty sure some of you know this already. If, you, if you've done glitches in Super Mario World before, uh, then again, the time limit might, might say, Nope, you're not allowed to do the glitch. Ah, uh, well, let's see. Except I took damage. I might not be able to now because time might go off any second. Any second now. Oh, well, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, God. I lost Yoshi. I guess we could do... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I, it might be possible to do the glitch in time. I don't know. Um, but not in mine. Not in my. Not for me. Uh, next up is Super Mario Bros. 2 USA. So not Lost Levels. Uh, not Japanese Super Mario Bros. 2. This is the American Super Mario Bros. 2. The one we're familiar with. That... That is a reskin of Doki Doki Panic. And we play as Princess Peach. The only character we can play as for some reason. The music is weird. Doo -doo -doo. So it's basically the first level of the game. Uh, I'm not going to bother getting the secrets. I know I would normally do that uh, when I play this, but I mean... Oh, come on. Got one up. Okay. Can we still go up here? Uh, sort of. Okay. Come on. Okay, we got up there. Oh, we died! <laughs> okay. Still got two extra lives, though. The music sounds awful. Do, 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 do. It's really awful. Let's go to subspace in time. <laughs> As we entered the door. Wow. The trial ended. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright, what's next? On our PAL game list. Alright, next up is Kirby's Adventure. This is our last NES game on here. Uh, Kirby's Adventure. So... I'm pretty sure it's the first level, so we which we know what to do, so yeah. 
Well, the music sounds awful now. Oh, God. And I forgot how long we take on this. Here we go again. Let's see if I can get that UFO. Yes, I got a UFO. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do the UFO glitch, though, so... And then, let's see if I can do this. Oh, can I get a one? Oh, I got a two. The music sounds weird. Oh, we can do Crane Fever. Let's see if we can do that again. And not rage like in 2022. For me. 2022 me. Okay, can we get the Kirby? Can we get the Kirby? Can we get the fat chubby Kirby? Ooh, yay! We did! Can we get it again? Can we get it again? Can we get it again? Stop! I really want the chubby Kirby! Do -do 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 -do. I bet it's not gonna happen. No! Don't matter anyway, this is just a demo, so. Okay. Two up. Okay. And then you're like, nope, you're not continuing the game. <laughs> okay. Alright, so that's all NES games. I think there's one more Super Nintendo game. I'm pretty sure. Then the other two are Nintendo 64. So. Uh, yeah, it's Super Metroid, and that's for three minutes. Let me check how long were the other ones. Um, F-Zero was 40 seconds. Two minute Super Mario World was one minute and 30 seconds for Mario Bros. 2. Two minutes for Kirby's Adventure. Uh, three minutes for Super Metroid. Okay. Super Metroid. I can easily play. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're able to... In fact, no. This is one of the first instances where we select a save file. Yeah. I'm going to select this one, because uh, the other one will just be, and yeah, it is the European version, I'm going to have German. The controller settings, uh, shot, jump, dash, and then item select, cancel, and I'll have it like that with my GameCube controller. The special settings, uh, I'll have auto and moonwalk, and we're in North Air. Where in North Air? Wow, this place has been explored a lot. Okay. So, um... Okay, so we got the screw attack already, so we pretty much have, like, a lot of moves already. It's just one energy tank that is missing, so... And we also don't have the gravity suit. Unless. Unless. It's turned off. Of course it's turned off. Well, let's turn it back on. Let's change the spacer to the plasma. There we go. That's the intended. That's the intended suit. Uh, we're supposed to have when we have the screw attack. It's not just the screw attack. But the space jump as well. We would normally have the gravity suit by then, so... Because you get it in uh, in a water place, Maradia, uh, however you say it. And that's where... Uh, and, and because that's a water stage, that's where you get the um, sp uh, space jump normally. And then you get a screw attack way later. So let's try and go back. Let's go... Let's see if we can get to the... Uh, let's see if we can get to the... Um, uh, final area. Yeah, we got the spring ball as well. Uh, and we'll see what bosses have been defeated. Because obviously, the first three had to be beaten, but have they beaten Ridley? 
Mind you, they might they should. Uh, well, I don't know actually. No, because you get the screw attack before fighting Ridley as well. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. Wait, what if they've broken that glass? Have they broken that glass? Yes, they have. Okay. Ooh, 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 boy. We're just speeding through this area. And we got these uh, Shriek Bats. Oh, come on. And it ended. <laughs> we don't get to see at all. Uh, but if we disable the time, we could at least see. So, uh, yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Uh, next up, we have the last two games uh, for the English versions, uh, two N64 games. First, we have Star Fox 64, or Lilac Wars here, and it lasts for three minutes. So, I'm assuming we just do Cornaria, I think we do, the, which is the first one. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we just do that. Yeah, you can see the spinning Nintendo 64 logo. Oh no, we just start the game. See, the European version. And all that. And it seems like some planets have been beaten already. But not with the medal. So I'm just going to skip it so we can do it. I'm going to get used to the trolls. Because I've not played this with a game controller before. Uh, at all, so... It's very interesting to control this with a game controller. Oh, I set to Lila. Oh my god. Well, I guess we can hear it, at least. <laughs> yeah, the voices are weird because it's set to Lila. Because it's a it's an option that is exclusive to the European version. <laughs> Sounds a bit funny, but I mean... But American and Japanese versions don't have that option. It's only European versions that do. I think it's mostly for the languages that aren't English. Because you can have English voices in the European version as well, which is obviously better. So, yeah. Yeah, so they basically makes them speak gibberish, kind of like the original Star Fox, aka Star Wing. So, can I get those lasers? Can I get the laser upgrade? Yeah, there we go. Okay, got a lot of points here. I wonder if it's possible we can get a lot of points here. And because this is 50 years, this is a lot easier. Because we have more reaction time. Let's get those. Get those to save Falco. Yes. Let's get the bombs. You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rubies. And I'm not going to do a barrel roll. So I don't need to. Now, can I, I'm going to try and take the secret path. Because why not? Unless, unless it will, unless the timer will deactivate any second. It's new flying box. <laughs> That's what I remember. Then... Yes. Follow me, Fox. Yep, there we go. And it ended. <laughs> right as we went there. Okay. We can't do more. So, yeah. That sucks. Okay, so... Now for the final demo. And what is that demo? It is none other than The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And it lasts for five minutes. So it's the longest demo. So... So, with Ocarina of Time... Um, 
it's also another one where we get to choose a save file. So just like Super Metroid, so I think it, we instantly start on the file select screen. Oh no, we start on the title screen. I think it's using PAL version 1.1, because that's the latest European version out there. So both files are set to link. This one is pretty much the beginning of the game. This one is pretty much later in the game, so when we're out link. So we're going to go with that one. It's been a while since I've played Ocarina of Time. Like, seriously. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so, you can see in the menu we've got a couple of... We've got the Ferrara's Wind. We've got Zelda's Letter. And these are the only things we've got. Um, how are they able to do it with no wood shield for Young Link? We've got 12 school tours. Uh, uh, I don't. I, f I can't remember what that song was. Um, so we've got Zelda's Lullaby, Epona's Song, Saria Song, Sun's Song, Song of Time, and what's the other one? I don't remember. I don't remember, actually. Uh, so I know these are the warp songs. I can't remember what that one was, actually. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, uh, is it? Uh, I don't remember now. Uh, you can also save the game for no reason. <laughs> okay. Let's play the song song. Oh, no, it's not that one. Uh, because we don't have any of the warp songs, uh, I was thinking of that. No. Because I was also thinking of the um, uh, the Song of Soaring in Majora's Mask, which kind of sounds like the Postman Pat theme to me a bit. <laughs> That's what I always thought <laughs> when I first heard that theme. In Majora's Mask, the Song of Soaring. Uh, so we can go to Hyrule Field. Um, let's go to Long Long Ranch. The fastest way to travel is to not read the sign, is to backwalk. Uh, I could do some glitches, but I'm not really good at them. Uh, I can't really remember what the other song was, because I know the bottom ones are meant to be... Um, are meant to be the... Um, They're meant to be the warp songs, I remember that. So we got this Luigi guy guy. Oh, so it's set after uh, racing him, so we don't have to race him anymore. We could try and do the opponent race. We have Malon, who's fully grown up. To, take, to get a Pona. Yeah, we do, so... And she's on the other side. Okay. Um, we can also ride a Pona, so... That way, can we try and do the opponent race? I doubt we not have a lot of time, though, but... Yeah. We were. Thanks to the Luigi looking guy. I forgot his name now. <gasps> oh god. It's Bert. <gasps> oh, I got hiccups. <sighs> Let's try this race. Here we go. Here we go. 
Uh, it's been a while since I've played Ocarina of Time, so I'm going to see how fast I can do this. And it ended right after, after we jump. <laughs> okay. So that is pretty much all the demos in uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl in the English versions. Now, I might be able to show off the two Japanese ones as well. So I'm going to have to boot up my Japanese version. Uh, if they don't load, I apologize. But I can at least show you the menus and all that. So I'll meet you until I load my Japanese version. Off I go. Alright, so you can see I've loaded the Japanese version now, which is Dairanto Smash Bros. X. So, let's go ahead. And, uh... I'm gonna go here. You can see it's a different icon as well. And uh, you can see so far they look the same, just Japanese. But, see any difference? We got these two games right here. No, Super Metroid don't count. We have Fire Emblem, Mystery of the Emblem, and Mother 2, or Earthbound. Yes. And then the two N64s are in their own section. Ah, oh, that's cute. Okay. Um. So, let's start off with Fire Emblem, Mystery of the Emblem. I've never played this game before, so I don't know what we do in this. Plus, it will be Japanese. And this one is a Japan exclusive, so... So, I'm assuming we select something. Okay, that's meant to be Moth. Okay. I have no clue what I need to do. Yeah, I have no clue what I need to do, because I, I am not used to these kind of Fire Emblem games. So, let's go here. Okay, no. Alright, no. Okay, um... Yeah, I have no clue what I need to do because it's all Japanese, okay. So that's our HP and levels and all that. What's this? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing because it's all Japanese. And this is for three minutes. Uh, like, one obvious reason they would remove this, because this game never came out in English. Like, not even years later. Like, fan translations of this exist, but... Uh, but, okay. Because the first Fire Emblem game released outside of Japan is uh, the second one on GBA. Uh, which I forgot what the Japanese title was called, but uh, in the West it's just Fire Emblem. Um, uh, but, yeah. So that was the first Fire Emblem game we ever got. We can go in the water. I don't know what I need to do. I don't know what I need to do. I don't know what I need to do at all. Yeah, I have no clue. Disable the music, somehow. I don't know what I need to do. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I have no clue what is going on. Okay. And it's over. And don't worry if the text looks weird. It's just how it works normally. I've not enabled, like, patch country strings or something. So that's Fire Emblem. <laughs> Mystery of the Emblem. Uh, now let's check out Mother 2 or Earthbound, as we're familiar with. Which, uh, which 
is which this one is exclusive to the Japanese version, but Earthbound did come out in America, but it didn't come out in Europe until Wii U Virtual Console. Uh, uh, so yeah, and it's just the beginning of the game. I haven't played much of Earthbound or Mother Two, not even the original Mother or Mother Three. Okay. Weird Japanese text. Should have a scene where Ness is sleeping. Yeah, there we go. It's weird how because Earthbound was also never on Wii Virtual Console in any region. So I don't get why this was included. Like, what does the Wii uh, operations manual like? Like, I think it still has a note for Virtual Console. Yet you can't get this game on, the, on Wii Virtual Console officially anyway. So, what's the point? Okay, let's just uh, walk around in our pajamas, then. So it's pretty much the only time you can play Earthbound on the Wii officially is through the Japanese release of Smash for All, and officially only for uh, only for like five minutes, and after that you can't play it anymore. Like, these RPGs are like hours long to finish, so I probably plan on live streaming these games in the future, so not just Earthbound or Mother Mother series, but also any other game. Uh, probably the Final Fantasy series and all uh, Sega's RPGs like uh, Fantasy Star, Shining Force, and all that. There's Pokey. Or Porky, as uh, it was called in Smash Brawl, but in this he's Pokey. I uh, have no clue why they changed it, but. Like, I don't know what his intended name is. I don't know if his intended name is Pokey or Porky. Like, I don't know. Let's get the present. Except I can't. Uh, I can't open the present. Oh! It's that option, of course. <laughs> because it's Japanese, I can't understand. Okay, um... Alright. I've not really played a lot of Earthbound. Uh, like, out of all RPGs, I've only finished some uh, of the Mario and Luigi games. I've, well, most of them. I've not done any other game. Right, let's go back to our mother. You should go back to bed, Ness. Get back to bed, sweetie. <laughs> but then... But then it's like, knock on the door. So that's when we wake up and then. Okay. And we go at the door and then. <gasps> Porky. I mean, Pokey. Or whatever. Okay. I bet they set the text to not fast mode. They set it to normal. I think we talked to our mother to change our clothes. Yeah, this is where we change our clothes. Yeah, there's the real Ness. Can we check on our desk? No. Okay. Well, I guess we can go down with Pokey then. Hey, King. Get you ready, kid? 
Oh, I forgot. We we go. You go in the other room as well, don't you? We go in the sister's room. Or mother's room? I don't know. Open the present. Okay, and then we go back to Pokey. When will this end? When will this game end? end, end? Get off the sofa. <laughs> it ended right as we spoke to him. <laughs> He's like, oh, sorry, we can crash your game instead. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that is all of the masterpieces in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, including the two Japanese ones. Because I'm on the Japanese version, I guess I could show off the rest of the stuff I've got in my Japanese save. Uh, which won't be personal in the future, but I mean, still. It's taking ages to load for no goddamn reason. I don't know why. Okay. So you can see. You have different, slightly different character names. You have different UI. Slightly. Instead of Bowser, it's Koopa. And uh, Ice Climbers, it's just Ice Climber. For DD, uh, King DDD, it's just. It's just DDD. Robert's Robot. Jigglypuff is. Uh, Pokemon Trainer is pronounced differently. Yeah, and uh, I think that's it. Uh, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and for Olimar, it's Pikmin and Olimar. Oh <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Um, I think Subface Emissary is mostly the same. I think I've hundred percented that as well. Yeah, and it took me seven hours. Wow. Didn't take me that long normally. It didn't take me long before, I guess. Wow. I'm, I'm so surprised. Okay. And then, uh, events. Event all events are finished. I've finished all them. In Japanese. Uh, and then... And for the challenges, I've used a cheat code to, uh, to have all of them completed. So you can, you can see here, all of these Japanese challenges. That's cool. Uh, replay videos, I think it's just the same as before. It's that Lucas one. Yeah. So I don't think that's any different. What custom stages did I have? In this Japanese one? Or do I have none? I had Ice Island, <laughs> I had Math Castle, Satan's Hell, Olympic Steps, and the Disc Factory, of course. Um, which I've made slightly different than that one, but okay. Um, as for trophies, I've also got a cheat code for all trophies as well. It's going to take me a while to go through these. So yeah, and then... Uh, I'm not going to bother with that at all. Coin launcher. I think I've got infinite coins. Oh, no, I haven't. I'm just going to quit. Why not? Stickers. I've got all stickers as well. So, yeah. So, yeah. <coughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. And also, for the Chronicle, uh, not only we've got, like, different lists, uh, they list the full year, the, so the full day, so the year, the month, and the day. Uh, so, yeah, we have Famicom, and we have a separate Famicom Disk System section. Uh, and we have Game Boy still. And you have the Super Famicom. Uh, the new ones are just the... Virtual Boy, there's less Virtual Boy games in the Japanese version for some reason, even though a lot of more Virtual Boys came games came out in the Jap in, in Japan. Uh, not a lot came out in America and none came out in Europe. So the Virtual Boy itself wasn't released in Europe. And then Game Boy Advance, all of that. God, there's a lot of GBA games. 
It's not the full library, luckily. Uh, then GameCube, right here. For DS, we get interesting because then you come across one with no date. Well, that's because it's referring to the one above, and those ones are the the Brain Age games, the Brain Age games, or Dr. Kawashima's Brain Chaining games, because their Japanese titles are very long, even in Japanese. And I think there's another one somewhere. Uh, I think that's the first one. That's the other one. The rest of the Japanese text could fit. Come on. I don't get why they had to do that. That one definitely could not fit, though. Oh, my God. But it might not just be uh, Brain Age. It might be other games as well. Yeah, it's interesting. And then for the Wii, it's only up until December of 2007, so... Yeah. So yeah, um, so I guess that is it, and also instead of an O, it's a D in the American and Japanese version, and that's for the D flicker, and all that. You can also change the aspect ratio and all that. So yeah, I think that'll be it for this uh, playthrough then, guys. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this series of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I might do more stuff in the future. I don't know, so... Uh, in the meantime, I shall see you guys next time where I do something else. Uh, so, jump about. Um, hope you all have a happy 2024. And uh, see you guys next time, jump about. See you guys next time. Bye!